Very good. Tuesday morning, 18th of October. Our heading is A Secret Wisdom. 1 Corinthians 2, verse 6 through 16 for the next few days. Today, verse 7. We speak of God's secret wisdom, a wisdom that has been hidden and that God destined for our glory before time began. Firstly, we are on the path, right? But it's a confusing world. We have seen how the believer can be bombarded with false teaching, blatant persecutions, and etc. But we are on a path that leads to the fullness of God's kingdom. But the path takes us through well-disguised minefields. When we walk through this dangerous territory, we are assured of safety when we cling to the word and the will of the Father. If we will but stay on the path, we will get to where we're going unharmed. Secondly, staying on the path isn't as easy as it seems. But when false teachers come at us with their persuasive words, we have a spirit within us who can cut through them. Secondly, if we are persecuted or just beaten down by the world, the spirit within us fills us with hope. Thirdly, when we are assaulted with almost imperceptible lies, the spirit can expose them for us. Fourthly, and when the seductions of this age tempt us, we can turn our weakness into strength. A third point, how? How do we do this? By revealing his secret wisdom. This is God. A wisdom that has been hidden for ages past and that the world considers foolishness. This wisdom was destined planned out and zealously pursued for our glory even before time began the spirit in our hearts is not a happy accident it is an intentional gift that god planned to give even before we rebelled our our treason against him was figured into this plan because god knew that Adam and Eve will fall. The secret depended on it. So, in application, we, we don't have to twist the strong arm of the Lord to get wisdom out of Him. It is in the pages of the Word, in the Spirit in our hearts, and in the sovereignty protecting us all. Yes, this war is intense, God's zeal for us is so much more intense. He is on our side, offering wisdom and glory. I pray, Lord, what else can I say but thank you for your wisdom. In Jesus' name, amen.